Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest update from the Business Standard, a case for financial grant is to be placed this week before the Union Cabinet which is required to proceed with design and development of Tejas Mark II. This is much needed to be cleared as soon as possible to ensure Tejas Mark II is developed on time. The Cabinet Committee on Security CCS, will be chaired by PM Narendra Modi which is supposed to give clearance to Tejas Mark II project which will enable ADA to further proceed with the fighter jet design development and certification. The Tejas Mark II is going to be 4.5th generation flying machine and will have 70% indigenous content against 62% of Mark 1A and much more advanced technology. Earlier, Chief of Air Staff had mentioned that in interim, that is between this Mark 1A and AMCA rollout, Indian Air Force will go ahead with this Mark 2. Back in December 2021, the Mark 2 design was cleared and accepted by Air Force. The manufacturing activities of Mark 2 has also started. As per HAS Chief, the fighter jet will be rolled out by this year or early 2023. One year after that, Mark II will be taking to the skies, that is by 2024. But this plan may delay by a year as a financial approval is yet to come. After the first flight, the fighter jet will go through further modifications and enhancements. It will take another 5 years to get ready for induction and only by 2030 we can see this fighter jet will be ready. Interestingly, by 2030, the delivery of this Mark 1A will also complete as per the contract, which will add 83 new fighters to Indian Air Force squadron. The government need to expedite the overall process and clear the financial blocker and fast track the process to ensure this Mark II is developed on time. The fighter jet is going to be much needed and potent platform for Indian Air Force to boost its declining squadron strength. Indian Air Force has committed for six squadrons of this Mark II. Air Force has also planned to acquire seven squadrons of AMCA, which will include two squadrons of AMCA Mark I and five squadrons of AMCA Mark II. ADA will develop five prototypes of AMCA for flight testing, which will cost close to 900 crore rupees each. Now, as we already know that HL in association with ADA has started the manufacturing activities of AMCA and CDR that is critical design review is expected later this year. As per the latest report from the project director of AMCA, ADA is waiting for CCS approval and the first AMCA rollout will be around 2026 and serial production by 2032. Here again, the financial approval could delay the program if not given on time. AMCA along with IMRS program will be implemented under SPV model that is Special Purpose Vehicle model to expedite the development and production activity. In SPV model, a majority of stake will belong to private players so that it does not become a full government entity. The procurement process will also be easy as it will cut procedural delays as seen in government entities. Last but not the least, let's talk about our famous MRFA program. The MMRC 2.0, rebranded as MRFA, is a $20 billion procurement for 111 multi-role fighter aircraft. Indian Air Force has planned to induct six squadrons of MRFA in a phase matter. As per Indian Air Force Chief, MRFA is going to be bi-global and make in India following the approach of C-295 aircraft deal. The MRFA responses from 8 OEMs has been received and is being analyzed by Indian Air Force and it is expected to progress soon. The contenders for MRFA contract are Lockheed Martin's F-21, Boeing's Super Hornet F-A-18E or F and F-15EX. The Salt Rafale, SAP's Gripen Jazz 39 EF, Russian MiG-35 and Su-35, and Eurofighter Typhoon. Among all these, the two strongest contenders are the Salt Rafale and Boeing's F-15 EX. 
this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector